Hi everyone, so this is a bit of a rebuild of a specialized hard rock that I've had for a little while now. I had it built up as a single speed bike because it has uh, horizontal or semi-horizontal dropouts. And it's always been a little bit too small for me. I had Nitto B802 handlebars on it, which have a little bit of a rise, sort of to size up the bike for me. And it also had a longer seat post because of my long legs. I do really like the way it rode, but just because of the size of it, um, it's always sort of been destined to be passed on. So the Mountain Alex group set was off my 89 Rockhopper. I built that up recently into a gravel or drop bar build. So pretty much the whole entire group set, even the wheels, I didn't use. So I had those spare and I decided just to throw them at this. It's quite simple. Everything just bolts on and it'll be a nice fit as a commuter bike. So like I said, I used a longer seat post, so I had the original one uh, sitting around in my seat post box. So quite a simple recipe really, it's just a 3x7 setup with cantilever brakes. Uh, the thummies are actually one piece or integrated into the brake levers so you can't separate them. But other than that, I quite like the Mountain Alex group set. Um, all the parts look really nicely and they perform well. Uh, the brake levers themselves, they're plastic covered. I never really like plastic covered brake levers. Um, so that would have been swapped out, but because the gear shifters are integrated into the brake lever, you can't easily just swap those out and keep the thumb either. So these handlebars were actually a steel bar. They had a little bit of light surface rust. So I scuffed that off with the scotch pad and some WD-40 then degrease that and then use some clear coat to seal it. I'd often see brake bolts come loose on people's bikes. So now before I sell a bike, I put like a little dab of Loctite in. Uh, brake bolts normally do have Loctite on them, but over time of them coming out and going back in, they lose that Loctite. And on the outside of the post, I use a little bit of grease as well. Don't want to use too much because otherwise it'll go over the pads and just be a whole nasty mess of not being able to stop. So the submodel of this Hard Rock is Cruise. I think the Hard Rock Cruise only came out in a couple of years. So that's sort of what helped me narrow down the age of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know where the Cruise lines up. It didn't have very nice components on it, but it is a tanned chromoly frame. So it rode really nicely. A lot of the specialized bikes aren't um, tanged, they're their own specialized tubing. So that's quite a little, nice little unique feature of this cruise model in and of itself. So I ended up putting an uh, unsealed bottom bracket back in this. I had one ordered, um, it didn't actually show up by the time the bike sold. I normally list things for a week, but I had um, offers available. Uh, so somebody put an offer through, I uh, accepted it, and the bike's gone now. Rest in pepperonis, little hard rock. Uh, it's onto a better life now. It's going to be used as a commuter bike, which is great because it wasn't seeing too much use in my ownership. Uh, it was a single speed fun bike I used on some cycle paths and a couple of trails here and there. But it was, it was definitely too small for me. I'll build up another single speed that's bigger. Um, and more off-road orientated just to have some single speed off-road fun. I think it'd be cool So I had the 26 inch lifestyle sticker put in a place where you could just see it above the chain ring when it was single speed But now that the front derailleur and chain rings are back on it gets hidden behind there um, I decided not to peel it off. Um, still a cool little still a cool little piece that um, if you know, you know
So these tires are just temporary. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see that I changed to some Tanwall Schwab City Jets. Um, I didn't know what the person was going to use it for. I had a feeling that it was going to be someone's commuter bike. So I mentioned in the auction that I had some slicks that are available and I ended up putting them on for the new owner. Uh, so the only problem with this length bottom bracket was that the chain got stuck between the crank arm and the BB shell. Uh, that, that was a fun little... I don't know how long it took to retrieve it, but it's a pain when it gets stuck down there. And then I do like a finger test, just without the gear cable installed, just to push it through the gears. I wouldn't really recommend that though, because you might get your finger jammed. Um, I'd do it at my own risk. <laughs> so yeah, be careful, be smart, don't be like me, be safe and have fun. So the front brakes on this were being a little bit finicky. Um, I don't, I normally find these brakes to be a little bit easier to set up than uh, traditional cantilevers that have the three-way um, adjustable brake post but for some reason, these were just being a little bit finicky. Yep, spring backwards. Uh. <laughs> it's in the wrong hole. That's better. So I must have just glazed over this when I first put the brake caliper on, but the spring was perched in the wrong hole. I normally set the front to the middle hole and then the rear. I normally set them in the middle and then bump them up to the top one to add more spring tension, depending on the cable routing. So this one is offset to this side. So I tried using some linear cable because I thought that the offset cable stop would help with the cable routing of it. Uh, it didn't work out too well. Because the linear cable doesn't flex as much, it's not going into the cable stop straight, um, so it's rubbing. Hmm. Same with the back here. So I tried a few different lengths of the linear cable, but it didn't work out. So I used some coil wound outer instead. Feels much better. It ended up feeling a lot smoother. So the coil wound cables do end up with a little bit of flex when you're pulling quite hard on the lever. So I was trying to avoid using it, but the flexier characteristics of the coil wound cable just it made sense in this application. And once all the cables are routed, it's really just a little bit of gear tuning and then throwing the grips on. 
I like to do that last just so I don't gunk them up with my greasy hands or anything like, like that. So these Mountain Alex shifters, the left hand side is friction only and then the right hand, which is the rear shifter, is indexed or friction. So I set up the indexing just to make sure for the next owner that they'd have index shifting in case they didn't like friction shifting or they didn't want to use it. Out the last thing is the seat. It's a Viscount, it says it's a Viscount 2256. It's a little bit wider than a turbo saddle. Turbo, Viscount, um, a little bit wider um, and different padding style. So in the next couple of days, I'll be putting out a video about the upcoming builds. Last week, I put out a bit of a poll about, I've got seven or so builds coming up and I didn't know where to start. So everyone decided that the Panasonic is going to be the next build, which is pretty damn coincidental that it's the right size for me. So I get to build that up for myself and everyone <laughs> everyone chose it. So, so I'm excited to get that up. It's a Tange Infinity Tube frame, and it's lugged as well, so it's, it's quite a special bike, really. It should ride really nicely. I've been told by quite a few good, so good sources that it will be a really nice riding bike. I've never had a Panasonic in my size before. Oh no, I've never had a Panasonic before. There have been a few Mountain Cats show up, but they're small, and the later model ones. Um, so this is about all I've got for this video. But I'll see you in the next couple of days with some updates and a bit of a, a plan. I've also got the Monkey Shred 100 quid bike challenge video coming up. Bit of a rundown of the bike that I've picked up for it, which will also be up later this week. So thanks for checking the video out. Leave any comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun, ride safe, bye.